Oh, the feet. So let's get into this tea. I got my honey sauce with me. Oh, um, want to pull it close? So y'all, we about to get into messy Monday. Y'all asking me about the one last week. Listen, if I miss one for one week, you won't be getting it. Just like if he don't put it out, you won't be getting it to next week. All right. So for fifty five percent off. All right. Go on and get to I get to my coffee. Yeah. Girl, it is so much going on, but I ain't got nothing to do with it. It's a whole lot, a whole lot of going on. It's a whole lot, a lot of going on. It's a whole lot, a whole lot of going on. It's a whole lot, a whole lot of going on. It's, whole lot, lot of going on. it's Monday, and you know what that means. If it ain't about me, then I'm a kiki. First on the dock, and then I'ma talk shit. Got my sugar, honey, iced tea. Do you wanna sip now? Period. I said what I said. Now move along, bitch, before you get red. P.O.P. You can't sit with me. Come on, girls, let's get. Hey creeps and welcome back to Messy Monday. As you already know, you can't sit with me unless you are POP and that is pretty on purpose. How are you doing? Now, let me just tell y'all, I don't know if it was cause that nationwide alert or whatever and it triggered some of the people's brains. But the folks is acting crazy. So baby, give yourself a pat on the back because child, I almost flipped out last week too. Anyway, but let's go on and keep it moving. Let me give a shout out to my friend, and that is Yana. Hey, bitch. Yana, thank you so much for having my post notifications on. It means so much to me, more than you know. You were the first. I have no explanation as to why this light is yellow. Comment on my Twitter post that lets you know that you are in tune with me, baby, and I'm shouting you out. So, Navy, y'all go follow her. Just blow her comments up. Show us some love because, baby, she's loving me. And if she love me, then she love y'all. And we just all love each other. We just want to be happy family. Anyway. Hey, bitch. All right. So let's go on and get to this shit. And, baby, that is the sugar honey iced tea because you girls love staying in some shit. First with sugar honey iced tea, we have Rocky Osiris and Lil TJ. And, child, I don't know the bad story, but it's giving trade. Okay, somebody, don't get me wrong. We trying to figure out what's going on, what started this whole situation, but nobody is figuring it out. Maybe it's a little brotherly love, whatever the case may be. I don't know, a little jokey joke between the both of them, but bitch, we picking up a little poking folk. So this is what little TJ posted, and as you can see, y'all, it's a whole lot of giggling, and I ain't never seen too many- Something so scared of me, LOL. It's okay, I'm not gonna slap you, LOL. I'm gonna spare you, you my son. I know you scared, man. LOL, you need another hitman, or blah, blah, blah. LOL, you trash as fuck. Um, don't mind me, bro. Please stop texting me. LOL, you need one, man. That man, that money gonna run out. Stop spending it on hoes, man. Not good. Leave me alone, Osiris. LOL, you flopping, man. You need giggle like that. <laughs> so... YKO was every time he wrote something, it was a little kick, 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 kick. Okay. And we like, what you kick in at? Like, ain't shit you saying funny, so what the fuck is the laughing for? So he go and say, scary ass nigga, so you scared of me? <laughs> LOL. <laughs> it's okay, I'm not gonna slap you. Uh, nigga, what? I'm gonna spare you. You my son. I know you scared of me. <laughs> <laughs> girl, what is you laughing? What is you What you laughing at, girl? Get it together. LOL. <laughs> you need another hit, man. LOL. <laughs> well, wait, wait a fucking minute. What is, sir, what's, what's happening? <laughs> hey, shit that funny, girl. You trapped as fuck. <laughs> Yo, stop. Bitch. <laughs> I'm about to one, two, three, four, five, six, this shit. If you laugh one more time, <laughs> I'm ripping your tongue out of your mouth. So then that's when Lil TJ finally texts and says, don't mind me, bro. Please stop texting me. Like, what the fuck going on? So maybe something was going on that we don't know. And it just, you know, whatever. So he responds with, LOL. <laughs> you Uh-uh, <laughs> bitch. I can't do it, y'all. I don't care. For those that's new, one, two, three, four, five, six is skipping it. I'm like, what, what's the secret? I don't know what's going on. You know these... Ain't gonna tell that business. So it is what it is. But it ain't got nothing to do with me. If it ain't about me, 
Y'all know that. T R A D E. Next step. Next to the sugar honey iced tea, we have Lil Baby versus Chun. Now, oh, this isn't really like beef, but it's just him clearing his name. So the rumor started off that Blueface fell. Lil Baby was trying to holler at her. And you know, it just started going and going and going and going. So you know, Lil Baby wasn't saying nothing. He let it slide, let the media do what they wanted to do. But then they posted the video and the picture of them in the club and him whispering her ear. So social media started playing off like, oh, he trying to get at her. And then she goes and she posts, you know, Lil Baby, a real one. Knowing already what that was going to do. Well, no. Also, she followed him from the baby's page. Okay. To blue face. Now see the word. That was the petty part. Street is pissed. And that's what pissed Lil Baby off. Who was thinking she did that purposely to make Blue Face upset? So then you go on live, continue to talk about Lil Baby on your live. Then she go and she followed him from her son page. Now you already okay. knew what you was doing, so mm -hmm. when you did that, so. So that made him, Lil Baby, come out and say what he need to say. I ain't with the trolling shit. No, I be laughing at certain shit, <laughs> but I ain't. Now stop playing, I ain't never tried to talk no motherfucking shunk. Please stop attaching my name to that. I seen her at the party and I told her some real shit. She know I ain't never tried to talk to her. I know I bring attention, but cause Sean even trolling about a child and stuff is too far. And that's why I don't get why that people- That nigga said like, don't understand why he spoke up because people was in the comments like she didn't say nothing bad about him she just said he was a real one which yes she did but then to go and follow him knowing Blueface think y'all fucking around with each other going on live continually speaking on this man's name it's just like okay it's going too far now so child she don't follow him on her baby page child <laughs> <laughs> and she got upset girl cause she got pissed girl she's like oh so you can uh, really just do that girl I don't know. They thought I'd have to go on war. But besides all that, um, the streets are happy because Sean posted this picture right here and she was on FaceTime with the guy. Now, me, a guy would be my last thing on my mind. You know what I'm saying? I'm everybody going keeps bullshit. saying that. So everybody like, Nick, if you ask me, Krishan shouldn't be thinking about no man. Y'all, I think Krishan should get a, her piece of pie if she want a piece of pie. What you think? You should be fucking. That too. Well, maybe she shouldn't be fucking because actually, you said should or shouldn't. Should. Baby, it's only been about, well, it's been almost, almost five weeks. Well, she could get some dick, but she gonna be real fertile, mm -mm. honey, so. Uh-uh, fuck that. Anyway. So you think that she should be getting some meat? I think she should be doing whatever she wants to do. If that means getting some, she going to get some. Well, that's just what it is. <laughs> ja, crazy. I'm getting over, guy. I need time to heal. So I don't know if red face is her new... <laughs> what? I don't know if red face is her new thing, but blue face is gone for now. Okay? So y'all be happy for whatever the case may be. It is what it is. Um, at least he claiming her in public, unlike the other thing was doing. So, uh, I don't know, y'all. It's just, ooh, child, them soul ties is real because he low-key kind of give a generic boo face. So, <sighs> Lord. All right, if it ain't about me, let's kick in this case. So, her new boyfriend just said that he ain't the, the dude. Next for Sugar Honey Ice Tea, we have Tamar versus Jeremy. Now, I don't know what's going on. I don't know if it's in the water or if it's in the weather, but baby, the girls is breaking up and getting divorces. And the gag is, it's the men leaving the women. Now, with this situation, I don't know. But girl, it's girling. Jeremy had went and he posted this right here. It's long. If you want to pause it, you can read it, whatever case may be. But he basically was just saying, you know, him and Tamar called it quits. He said he ended the relationship and he wanted to get back to his positive energy. Now I'm sitting up here like, oh, okay, first of all, that's real messy. Cause now I want to make it seem like if she was negative and there was a lot going on, and you need to get back to you. And if y'all was breaking up and trying to leave it on good terms, you would have just said, hey, I ended the relationship, but we want to remain friends. Y'all said one, two, three, four, five, this part.
Okay. Geeky in it. Okay. Next Andy. is Honey Ice Tea. We have Virgil Brown. Now, I don't know if y'all been keeping up with this, but y'all remember his mama came up missing and come to find out the mama was found behind the house by the creek or the lake, whatever that was, right? Now, this man is seen in the room dancing and having fun. What I'm not getting is your mama is dead and you living your best life. I don't know if he's out there coping using drugs and things like that and he's in denial and that's why it seems like he's going through this or maybe he has went into insanity because he was so close to his mama. I don't know. But what the streets is saying is this. So Y'all listen now. When the police went to the house, they didn't see the mama in the backyard, right? The mama was not in the backyard. They checking everything. But then the sister come back. Now, li listen to me. All right, this ain't my words. This is the street. So allegedly, now the sister come back. Not allegedly because the sister, they, they said she found the mama. The sister came back, went in the back, and she found the mama. So how did the police and all they working men overlook the mama, but then the sister come back and she found the mama? Mm -hmm. So she just goes straight to the mama, but the police couldn't find the mama. Ooh, this nasty. Uh, the streets is saying allegedly, mm -hmm. but it might be the sister. He really is gagging. I don't know. We might be. Y'all, don't he got a plan to funeral at least? Did he come back at all? Does anybody know? No, he ain't came back. So the nigga ain't came back or nothing? No. Heck at all. Something is in the water, okay? Looking in the wrong place. Man, cause ain't no way you just gonna be out party and your mama is gone. And then on top of that, DNA and forensics is just too good, so... If they got something on him and they know that this man did it, it shouldn't be too hard to find him because we see him on social media all the time. So I just don't know what's going on. But they just laid her to rest. So why weren't you there if you didn't Damn, do it? Damn, and they already had the funeral and his ass still in Tulum. Mm -hmm. Ooh, this messy. Mm -hmm. Oh, what I was telling you, baby. It ain't bad. That's crazy. Do it. But no, he clearly don't. Maybe you know who did it and you just, oh, God, I don't know. And you feel like they're going to put it on you. I don't know. Something ain't right. Something ain't right. But like they said, allegedly he was caught Not on up. the neighbor's ring, yeah, like burning the mama clothes. <laughs> So either he did it or he was involved. I just, it's just hard to believe this man is out here. <sighs> I ain't gonna rattle my brain. If it ain't about me, let's keep keep it. Okay? Child, I left this alone when it happened, y'all, because this a hot ass mess. I hate mysteries. I ain't your I never like puzzles. I'm not your puzzle put together person. I'm clear. I'm I'm really, really not. I don't know who did it. Uh hopefully they find out. You're more of a word searcher. Yes. You got to talk to the mic. They don't hear you. They don't hear me. Can y'all hear me now? There you go. Next for the Sugar Honey Ice Tea, we have Bow Wow and oh. Keisha Montana. Now, for those who don't know, she was one of the last co-hosts on 106 and Park. Bow Wow like. He hazed me in the beginning. We were both signed to Sony Urban. Yeah. He saw my poster at, in the building in New York City, and he was like, I want this girl in my music video for mm -hmm. shorty like mine. He was like, hey, I want to like invite you to yeah. be my lead girl. And I was like, oh my God, I would love to. So my team flew me out to LA. Mm -hmm. We had a whole team meeting. He showed up all like, what's up? Uh, yeah, mm -hmm. no, oh, he was putting on. And then he asked me like, oh, you want to come by the hotel? Da, da, da. Yeah. And I'm like, no. The day of, I show up. Angela Simmons has a trailer. Keisha Shante has a trailer, and I'm like, okay. So I go into my trailer, my team shows up, we have bad news. What? Bow doesn't want you to be the lead girl of Shorty Like Mine anymore. Bow Wow. He brought in Angela Simmons. But what I didn't realize is that Chris Brown's trailer was yeah. there, and he was there. He came knocked at the door, and we were friends, we met when we were yeah. young. And he was like, what's going on? I'm like, Bow's trying to kick me out of this video. He's yeah. like, well, you'll be my lead girl then. Period. We don't need Bow. 
So then we had a little rivalry. So we shoot the video, Bao gave me attitude the entire time. Years passed and I would run into him and it was never cool. And then 106 and Park happened. They told Bao the day I was showing up that yeah. I was the new host. And when I walked into his dressing room and he saw it was me, he was mad as hell. He just kept hazing me. Teleprompter would come up, he would say my line yeah. or mess up his line or pause and be like, no, it's your turn and it's not my turn. One day they called me and said, we have Damn. a special episode. You need to be there. We're gonna announce you as the new host. I had no idea. And I got to say- I ain't gonna lie, I haven't seen this at all. And I seen her say it hazed, but I just left it alone. Aubrey was the guest that they were interviewing. <laughs> Aubrey's the one mm -hmm. that co-signed me to bow. Yeah. It was like, no, like. She's cool. Yeah. yeah. So he gave Bao the okie doke, and then Bao was nice to me after that. Mm. And I was like, ooh, you got big bro. Now, baby, that's a whole mess. Now, I don't know if y'all caught what I caught, but it seemed as though he was upset because she didn't go back up to that room. And ever since then, it's just been a whole lot, a whole lot of going on. So does that mean Angela went up to that room? Because you got that part and she didn't get the part because she didn't go to that room. So after she did that interview, whatever the case may be, all them the Them niggas so nasty. I would not want none of that community dick. Mm -hmm. Out of all celebrities, you better answer this one right. Not I better answer yeah, this right. You heard right. what I said? Girl, answer, ask your question and I might. Out of all the celebrities who give out community dick, which one would you do it to? T.I. Oh! Same. And it stands. T.I. Oh! I don't know why she Stop thought talking. it was going to change. Stop talking. Whatever. All of a sudden, um, she posts up this right here. And I'm just like, if y'all don't do nothing else, y'all going to back Just got off the phone with Bao. It was the first time we got to speak about this. And I'm glad we are able to clear it clear up the misunderstanding he did haze me but that was for other reasons i love bow and he's been nothing but respectful towards me over the last 10 plus years we love each other very much also this is why your girl doesn't drink you what you what? was drunk saying this shit what the fuck child after a phone call like, girl, you said Brian, what you said. Awesome Stand on what you said. That. Shouldn't nobody... set herself up for it. Like I said, I don't want to hear it. Whatever. I knew she was going to say to you, yeah, yeah. Make you feel any type of way. You was asked a question and you answered it. That is what happened. But all right, Rob, I'm out. <laughs> Not on backpedaling. <laughs> Romeo would never. Uh, 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 would he have that ever girl. apologized to her oh, if she wouldn't have you... said this? Because now you're going to come and talk about it's all love. But you never said nothing to her until this. That's what you call her. If it ain't about me, let's get keep this cake. Mm -hmm. All right, that's all I got for the sugar honey iced tea. Let's get into this mess. First one, Duckett, we got Jason Derulo versus Eva. Now this is some trifling shit. Child, this right here. <sighs> I ain't gonna lie, this girl can't catch a break. She ain't been able to catch a break since she started. Uh, oh, Mazda, whatever. She went to sister group. Anyway, child, this is a whole lot of whole lot of. So she is now coming out saying that she's accusing him of sexual harassment and now she's filing a lawsuit. No child. I ain't the one to pick a side and I don't do no victim shaming. But the word on the curve mm -hmm. is she's known for compulsive lying. They oh. say she just lies, 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 and will do anything to stay in the limelight. So I don't know, like they oh, always so say, you're innocent until proven guilty. So I'm not gonna sit here and just say, oh, Jason, wrong, he lied, cause he don't even give me that. But I also wanna still give her the benefit of the doubt and say her word is valid until everything is brought forth. And then on top of that, why would you even sign the Jason Derulo anyway? Hello? That just didn't make no sense to me. Like, come on now, baby mom. That doesn't make no sense to me anyway. Well, he oh. makes a lot of money, y'all, believe it or not. And he make a lot of money on the white side of things, okay? Just like Flo Rida. Mm-hmm. He didn't win pop. Oh. Uh-huh. Pop. Yeah, that's what it is. They make money on that pop era. Mm-hmm. Girl, and then just what, uh, what was it, four months ago? Did, weren't you just trying to diss the rappers? <laughs> I guess that didn't work. So... <laughs> so Jason then had to come out 
And this is what he said. I wouldn't normally comment, but these claims are completely false and hurtful. I stand against all forms of harassment and I remain supportive of anybody following their dreams. I'm Nigga, are you reading okay. a teleprompter? God damn, hurry up. Are we paused? I strive to live my life in a positively impactful way. And that's why I sit here before you deeply offended by these defamatory claims. God bless. You are full of shit. Not wrote the same shit. Now, I, I would have believed it had he not been dramatically pausing in the middle of his fucking statements. If he... Girl, I'm over it. Nah, that was like, wow. Wow. Okay. <laughs> you should just stay the fuck quiet. Wow. That was okay. crazy. What the fuck was that? Okay. <laughs> Okay. That looked like a whole AI generated apology. Oh, yes. The way you was breathing. Why are you breathing? Like, why are you talking? Like, what the fuck? Okay. That? Okay. Then the nigga was like, I am deeply hurt. And I wish I that I would, you know, not be treated what? that way. But since I'm what the fuck? <laughs> I don't know who he was waiting on. Okay. A clap. Some, some so, new, somebody to change the screen. Next, nigga. Fuck did you type it instead? You could have just typed it. Okay. He did not read. He typed you know, they it. Said he did, he did it. <laughs> <laughs> he he could have just smiled in the picture. Oh, it's a whole lot, a whole lot. If it ain't about me, let's keep keeping it. Okay. Child. Next one, okay? We got Chloe Kardashian versus Tristan Thompson. Child. Now, baby, this shit right here pissed me off because I'd be motherfucking damn if one of my siblings has my exes, I don't give a fuck, baby daddy, baby mama, whoever, or somebody that I prior had dealt with, y'all have they back. And they done dragged me and humiliated me in public. Oh, bitch, I'm busting all your teeth down your fucking throat. You got me fucked up. What happened? I always ask myself, you know, like, why why do certain things to hurt certain people like so i can't even watch this because it's gonna get copyrighted and i can't believe he puts copyrighted content on his videos but unfortunately we're gonna have to keep it moving mm. person nigga bitch men gonna embarrass you if you let them I, you're my per well, bitch. If I was your person, why didn't you get your shit together and act right? He said because y'all allowed me to find myself and be. Bitch, no, that she allowed you to do what the fuck you wanted to do. That's why she your person, cause she letting you do what the fuck you want to do. Ain't none of them other bitches doing that. She, she need to wait the fuck up. Wait the first of all, nobody's waking Chloe up. Mm -mm. If Chloe can't wake herself up. Chloe truly acts as if, like, this the only fine man I can get. With any man that she has. <laughs> Let's start there, okay? <laughs> With any man that she gets, it's just like, oh, this is it. This is all. This is who I'm going to be with, even if he drugs me through the mud and he rolls me on a bus and, and dogs throws me. me. I mean. I'm okay with it. He loves me. She literally had another child with this food. After he cheated on her. And after he cheated on her and had another child okay. for another former. Then he got to pay like $40,000 in child support to that other child. Now, granted, she don't need no money now. Them bitches is rich. However, comma, <clears throat> I know he feels some type of way about giving away that $40,000 every month. Can y'all imagine? Can oh, y'all imagine giving away $40,000 outside of your household to a whole nother person? And 40 of that ain't going to that child. Mm -hmm. Jesus Christ, I just. Fuck up, cause if playing in my face was a person, he's that person. Mm -hmm. Girl, you know, and then, messed around, with your sister, messed around with your sister's friend. That too. Like, nigga, come on. And Kim, 
always siding with that nigga. Yeah, Kim always siding with all the exes. All the exes. This is the issue. Kim is siding with him. Whatever the hell they got going on, Kim be on their side. Oh, yeah, I just love him. He's such a great person. I don't know why he act like that. And he never acts like that when we speak and he's speaking all. Like, bitch, why the fuck you on the phone with him so much? Whose sister are you? Like, where are your loyalty lies? Yeah, that's why her and um, Kim is a op, y'all. Um, Courtney, Courtney, and um, ch- child, Courtney Scott. and Chloe be goddamn yes, cause she got she still fucking. Girl, Scott is her man. Do you mean who? Kim, girl, Scott, Lord Scott Distick is her man. Yeah, Lord Scott, that Distick. is that's his name. <laughs> It's his name, honey, and she loves that man. It didn't matter what he did, and that's what everybody, even the whole entire family, invited his ass on a fucking family <laughs> trip. Y'all got me messed up. Listen, These sisters are shit. That Scott got away with everything, with, and they mean, still be around that nigga. But to be honest, Chloe is the one who's really closer to Scott. To Scott. It ain't Kim. It's no, Chloe. I know, but the issue with, with Scott and Kim is they be going out having lunch and shit. See, Kim, I mean, Chloe and and Scott, Scott will come over to the fucking house, girl. Scott, Scott come, will come to, over the to the house, house and sleep in the in the, in they the ain't um, them guest niggas room. Sleep on all kind of shit with Scott and Chloe. <laughs> So Chloe can't even be surprised. Matter of fact, I ain't even mad at Kim now for Girl. taking up for that man. I just think I think Kim think that um what's she, his name? She think everybody can change, including her um baby daddy slash ex husband. I think that she think that nigga fine and she like to have him around. I don't care what y'all say. Yeah. She think he fine, y'all. Y'all know Kim love her block man. Strong, fine. Oh, Chloe. Kim, you are one disloyal ass because I be motherfucking dead. <laughs> of course, his actions are uh, 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 hey, like... hey. Sorry, y'all. Unfortunately, this gets copyrighted. We're all good. Bitch, fuck you. Because at this point, we're Courtney. So she could tell him to shut the fuck up. Uh, because Kim ain't the one that need to be sitting around in this motherfucking situation. And Chloe just gonna let him do what the fuck he wanna do and he already know this. Okay. Child, cheating on my sister in her most vulnerable time? Mm-hmm. I could never forgive you. This yeah. is a perfect example of when Chloe says Kim tries to make every situation about her. Cause at this point, Kim making it sound like it's her man. Are they fucking? Or have they fucked? Bitch. Bitch. Girl. I'm trying to tell you. <laughs> Y'all know shit hit a little different on the other side. And, and it's just crazy to me how a man can manipulate a woman with his words, but destroy her heart with his actions. And let's sit here and think about it. How much more are you going to give this man? He cheated on you your first pregnancy. Mm. Then he cheated on you again with your sister's friend. Mm. Then he cheated on you during your second oh. child. And mm-hmm. then had a baby with some bitch. Oh. Okay. Who? Oh. Go ahead and leave, Zoe. You are stupid. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so then the sister Kyle was making back Mother Jordan. She came out after she heard with how much he took care of, you know, Kim and her children and he does this. And she just said how much of a great person he is. She had to come out and say, hold on. Now, Kim, this is fucked up. But it's, it's just mighty funny. He can find the time to do all this good stuff for other people, but can't, but cannot show up for his own son, Prince. She then goes and she says that the child support rumors are fake. He has not been paying in God knows how long. And I- Child. I wouldn't pay either. Ain't nobody paying you for that thousand dollar. Fuck no. Just give me my son. Fuck no. I believe every word this girl is saying because a man will take care of the kids of the mother that he likes. Let's just keep, let's call a spade a spade. And then Kim saying, oh, Tristan stepped up. Baby, those are not his children. And if you would want to be real, and I'm going to just leave it at this. Tristan really want to be with Kim. Let's just call a spade a spade. Facts. 
Facts. Baby, because <laughs> how you gonna defend Kim against Kanye and take up for her and take care of her kids, but you shit on her sister? You got Kim is Child. his boo boo. You know, some some people have like little unannounced relationships when they see each other, if that makes any sense. Like we we all get up as a family, but this you my wife, but this my little girlfriend. Okay. Kim is his little girlfriend. Mm. Mm. I'm telling mm. you. That's the one he can't wait to see for the family event. For the, for the Thanksgiving. Mm. 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 I'm telling y'all, China is always live. This is nothing new, friend. <laughs> Just let me know what she's talking about. Bitch. Y'all better see it. Drake anybody... don't want Kim. Drake walked okay. by Kim Kardashian at his uh his concert like her ass was a fan. D didn't even see her. I mean, let's kick it. Next game. Next up, okay? We got Jay Z and Booba. Now, this was just uh he say she say. It was like a little light light rumor. So anyway, at the VMAs, it was said. And Drake can't have uh Rihanna. Shit, ASAP is all up in that motherfucker. He finna marry her. Somebody on Twitter that they saw JT and Glory really get into it backstage at the DNA Awards. So, child, everybody went running with it, didn't get no type of validation. So, then another person who was there by the name of Nate returns, he comes out and he says they did get into it, but nobody got hands laid on to them. JT comes out and she posts this, which kind of made people think, you know, something happened because it says you live to fight another day. Hey, JT, can you give us a, a quarter of the day, please? JT. A quarter of the day, a positive quarter of the day. Mm hmm. Bro. Take your time. So, uh huh. I, I gotta skip this too because her fucking nipple. Fuck. What people are thinking the beef is is remember you know Gorilla and JT and them did the FNF remix. Whoop, 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 yada, yada, yada. I know y'all probably be like, why would you skip it if? Yeah. Let me tell y'all something. Every time a video happens and I react as though, this is a lot of reasons why I don't really be wanting to react to Messy Monday no more. Uh, he, it, it's copyrights on these videos. Now, I don't know if, if these people letting him have it, which I doubt, but I don't know. Um, I don't understand. But nipples being out, I don't understand why the corset, is that a corset? Mm -hmm. I don't know why the corset gotta be so tight. It be cutting off the titty, the nipple just be at the top. I don't have time. <laughs> all right. It may not affect him, but it affects me. All right. And now JT is I'm yelling because y'all need Minaj, to understand. Right? So then Gorilla <laughs> has done a song with Cardi B, which is Tomorrow too. And, you know, they feel like Cardi through I'll be shot. doing this shit for y'all, but I'm sick of it. Okay. I'm sick of it. All right. At Nikki and JT. And I guess when they say Gorilla went up to her to kind of go speak to her, you know, JT was like, you know, she snubbed her like, girl, don't talk to me like you doing a song with a girl who, you know, coming at us. And that's why Cardi says this right here. I'm the type of person that if I like you and I meet you and like we do a song, I don't expect like you to pick a side or anything or like I feel like you could work with whoever you want to work because at the end of the day, this is a business and you got to look out for yourself always. Just don't. Don't show on me or don't show me like you kind of. Yeah, like YouTube do have a new policy where you could curse. Mm hmm. For some channels, mm -hmm. but then the others, you can't, bitch. Or you gonna get the yellow boys. Uh uh. Let me tell y'all something. I'm gonna follow all the guidelines to so I can get my green. Okay, my green uh dollar sign that is. All right, like them yellow fake boys. Because that I be breaking my heart and that be making me wanna like when I see you, I'm gonna let you know. Like, and I'm a I express myself. When I have to express myself, and I'm gonna let you know. Like, I feel like this, this, and that. Whatever the case may be. It is what it is, it is what it is, and it is what it is. Okay. If it ain't about me, no, let's keep it. Okay. okay. Next one, okay? We got Drake versus Jordan. Oh. Now, child, this was crazy because I'm just like, what the fuck is going on? So, you oh. know, everybody was giving their reviews on Drake's album that just came out. And so, Joe was on you know, the podcast and he said what hey. he said. I, I miss the Drake that was rapping. But for girl. the rappers, I miss the Drake that when he dropped, the rappers hit him. Not these little fucking kids. I don't give a fuck about you and Kai Sinat. That's going to sound like hate. Because you and are hating, uh, Joe. 
Joe is a hater, bro. I ain't gonna lie. He's a hater, but I understood what he was saying. Uh, why? Because what he's saying is like back then it was more so like the people were congratulating him. Mm. It's like now it's he making it seem like he clout chasing by using these streamers. You know, and the he, key word was back. Yeah. Times have changed. It has changed, but you know, they want they want times to change back. Yeah, it they've, that's they've just been not trying to. They really have. Kai ain't nothing but a uh like an AR, so to speak. Mm-hmm. He gets the music out there because the following, you can't beat the following. What he should have done as a black man is congratulated, Kai. But he's a fucking hater. He is a hater. <laughs> Times have changed. We not it's not the same shit. If Drake were to stay the same, then he wouldn't elevate. Nigga. Joe gotta get it together. It is. It's not hate. It's not hate. It is. It's not hate. Go find some this your fucking age. See, that's when it became. What does hate. that have to do <laughs> with the price when of it tea in China? More, but, but hey, because I was uh, what the fuck? Not, what? Hang out with them. Get some of that sauce. That's all not the, what keeps all you. All the, all no, the, all that's what keeps you popping. I mean, These kids. That's not what keep you popping. And if that's exactly. the game he playing, all the old, I got to play this game. All the old is streaming music dog. and buying it, Joe? No. Dog, all, no. All, all, that, all, that, all, that, all, that, all that shit y'all saying for me applies to the field. I have long before called this the golden child. Different set of rules apply. Correct. He's him. He is not one of them that y'all telling me about. I don't hold him there. Dog, you this album is going to be the most streamed album in Spotify history. Though, why? When, when, if you really went and listened to the whole podcast, he said more good than just that statement right there. Um, and the blogs took that and ran with it. He said the album was good, but he gave his expectations on what he thought would have made it better. And and that's okay. And word on the curve is a few people do agree. They say Drake has gotten a little <laughs> corny in his ways. Not music, but in his ways. Now that is the truth. However... Once again, niggas don't, if you, if you don't change, you stay the same. Who wants to do that? What do y'all expect him to do? Staying the same ain't it. <laughs> Period. Oh. And they say he's been doing a lot of things for clicks and views. And they just missed when Drake had like the bars and the beats and things like that. And then also the word on the curve was saying like, you know, it's, it's cool that he is hanging out with the streamers and, you know, the comedians and things like that. But don't become them. Let's just say this. With Nikki, everybody's saying, oh my God, she's almost 40. She's still acting like a child. Why is she doing this? Keep it fair. Keep it fair. She's still staying with the times, but y'all y'all drag her, but you, 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 it's okay for Drake to do Nah, I think with Nicki Minaj, like, I don't know. Nicki Minaj falls out with everybody. Like she get into it with these young girls because they not like praising her for what it is that she's done, which I don't know why she feels like she needs anything from the young girls when she came after a lot of other women as well. I, I don't, I don't get that part about Nicki Minaj, but I will say they do be on her ass. And they do be talking about Nicki. It's the people that be that be saying, oh, Nikki is my um, influencer. You know what I'm saying? Who I look up to. And then when it comes out to it, you want to give her a credit. Like, you'll hear something back. And, of course, you know they're going to go back in the day or where you said something. And now, all of a sudden, you don't care for Nikki. That, I think that's where she be coming from. Nikki, that is. It's mm -hmm. like, why y'all praise me behind closed doors, but when it's out in the open or when your foot is in the fire, you don't want to praise me or you don't want to give me my credit or whatever the hell she wants right. in that moment. I feel where she be coming from sometimes, but she be taking it overboard. She be that, doing too much. That's all I'm saying. Too much. Make it make sense. So then, baby, Drake come back. Child. And wrote a book. <laughs> Drake. I'm sorry, Drake be reading. I'm sorry, Drake read him down for points, baby. And y'all can pause it, read it. I'm sure you already read it. He told this man you retired your jersey and nobody even knew your number. <laughs> Drake was spitting some bars. He was saying you you didn't want to quit. You was forced to. I 
I will say, I don't know why Joe Budden think that he could talk to somebody about music when he, in fact, did quit. Mm -hmm. So I feel where Drake is coming from on that note, for sure. Pump It Up was cool. You know what I'm saying? But it's just like, you're better in the blogging space. That's cool. But also, if, if Joe Budden don't throw somebody up under the bus, nobody would check for him either. I think people throw people under the bus when it's convenient for them. Yep. And that's what I don't do. I don't have time for that. To say it's just some wild ass disrespectful shit about somebody. I... <laughs> I, I'm not even gonna read all that because that, that shit hurt me and it wasn't even about me. I'm like, oh God. <laughs> I need to work harder. <laughs> okay. <laughs> So then his dad came out, his dad came back, he was reading him like a little old head. Cause when you put the ER on motherfucker, <laughs> <laughs> motherfucker, keep my <laughs> mouth. Oh my God. It sounds more dad. like motherfucker from a man. <laughs> mm. motherfucker. And then here come uh, uh, Birdman with all his extra activities. I'm like, oh girl, hush, you remember he was... <laughs> Mm-mm. Gosh. Mm. Good child. I ain't got nothing to say, but the real reader of them all was Amelia Banks. And that's who came out and she was reading. Baby, reading for blood. But I'm a hush. But what I will tell Drake is keep Rihanna out your bullshit. Okay. Now, I keep Rihanna <laughs> out your bullshit. If you still hurt, just say that. Because in that one little song, keep her out your bullshit. And it is what it is. Child. I know you wrong. If it ain't about me, let's keep eating this cake. <laughs> all right, you guys, all I have for Missy Monday. Uh Ooh. All right, y'all. Listen, I support Zoe. Y'all know I love her. But goddamn, boy, this, this be about 45 minutes of a lot of, a lot of the one, two, three, four, five. You know what I'm saying? Uh, so if you don't see him as much or as often, just know we moving on with the time as well. On with the time. But I love Zoe. That's my guy. But y'all let us know what y'all think down in the comment section below. We are done with this video. Love y'all. Appreciate y'all. Bye.